I just came down to the washroom tonight because I'm having tons of thoughts laying in bed and I just figured, you know what, I'll get up and make a video and see how it turns out get these thoughts out of my head because my brain is just spinning today about how we're, we're so obsessed with the narrative in, in our society. What do you do? Are you married? Do you want kids? Do you want to be married? Are you straight? Are you gay? Are you religious? Are you spiritual? Are you political? Do you vote? All of these things. And um, I just can't stop realizing as I get older that the narrative doesn't matter. <laughs> it's what do you bring to the table? Are you pulling your own weight? Are you illuminating your light around other people who need it? Or are you shutting people down who might think differently than you? To me, that matters more than anything. And pulling your weight can mean making next to nothing and also having little bills. Or pulling your weight can mean being the CEO of a major company and being a leader to tons of people. Both of those things are important. Just are you pulling people down that are around you? Are you judging others for who they are? Are you lonely? Are you feeling satisfied? Are you content? Um, whether or not you want kids, it's, it's really no one's business. And I know it's something like I ask people all the time too, but I don't have a judgment on people's answer because it's just a way to make conversation. But whether or not you want kids, whether or not you're married, divorced, if you care about marriage, if you're religious, like to me, I'm feeling you out. I'm feeling your energy when I'm talking to you. And if I feel accepted and like I can just be me, I think you're winning in so many ways <laughs> because we're all different and we all have different gifts and we need different types of personalities in this world. And the narrative just, pff, we need to throw that out. We need to quit chasing this. Oh, well, I'm 36 years old and I'm single and I should be married by now. Like who's, don't shit all over yourself. Are you growing? Are you learning? Are you adapting? Are you getting to know yourself? And are you honoring your truth? That is what matters. So many people around us, your parents are included in this. They're projecting who they want you to be onto you. And of course they mean well, they want what's best for you. But also sometimes you need to stand up for yourself and be like, hey, this is not what I want. I'm not honoring my truth. So I'm just gonna challenge all of you to just Take some time and think about like, hey, when my friends around me start changing, like am I supporting them or am I trying to keep them the same or am I trying to get them to think like like me? Because we shouldn't be doing this to each other. And we do it with good intentions by saying, you know, don't get your hopes up and don't go for that. And oh, quitting your job is risky. And I mean, right now I live in a van and I have no job. I'm starting my own business, but it's a couple years away and it's still like just a lot of ideas. And I gave up like a high paying job with a pension with the board of education that a lot of people would kill for a permanent contract. But I am happier than ever because I'm in charge of what I do right now and I have time and freedom because my bills are really, really low and it's tough to live in a van, but I'm sure there's tons of people out there being like, this girl's crazy. She gave up her job. What is she going to do? But I know that I'm going to find my purpose and my energy is great right now. It's high and I feel like I'm a high vibration just overall because I'm honoring my truth and I'm not letting people who know me, who love me, who care about me, project who they think I should be onto me because I live in a van and I am away from all of that. And I think obviously it's important to have people that care about you around you, but sometimes you need to get away from those people and it's nothing against them. Like I said, they mean well, but sometimes you need to just get away from everything for like a good period of time to really realize who you are and what's, what's calling to you. So I feel like this van life experience is really giving me that. And I just, yeah, my, my main thoughts tonight are just don't be so obsessed with the narrative. You could be making very little money and not really know what you're going to do in life. But if you're getting up every day with purpose and you're, you're looking for opportunities to grow and you're not stifling others and you're not judging others for where they're at and stop judging yourself for where you're at. We're so hard on ourselves. I know I've really worked on this the last couple of years um, because I know where I want to be and I know I'm not there. So it's so easy to be like, oh, damn it, Michelle, like, like, just get there. You should be here. You should be there. No, I shouldn't be anywhere. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. 
And the narrative doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I'm 36 years old and I just gave up a career and I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do. I have dreams, I think they're gonna work, I believe in myself, I know it's gonna take time, it's a little scary not to have that security. But living in a van, it's like, my bills are so low. I could go pick fruit and pull my weight <laughs> while I have more time to figure out who I am. So if you're pulling your weight, you're winning. And just let others be who they wanna be around us without projecting a narrative onto them. I know so many amazing, successful women who you know, say to me like, oh, I'm 38 and I'm single and I still want to go travel and I want to do this and I want to do that. It's like, who's to say that there's anything wrong with that? You're exactly where you're supposed to be. It's, you're worse off being stuck in a narrative that was projected onto you that you think would make you happy. I know tons of women who are single and don't feel lonely. I know tons of women who are married and feel lonely. And sorry, I say women just because that's obviously who I relate to, but there's, there's no narrative that wins. Like the narrative that wins is how do you feel? How do you feel at night when you go to bed? Are you feeling fulfilled? Do you feel like you're on the right path? Are you feeling stuck? Are you feeling trapped? That is the narrative that matters. Are you putting others down because you, you, you feel the need to do that because you're just not happy with where you're at? And are you projecting onto others who you think they should be. I know we all do that to each other and we don't really do it on purpose because we just, we have an idea of who, we want our, who, of who we want our friends to be and we're comfortable with that and we want what's best for them. But let them take the chance. Let them marry the guy that might not be right. If they really think they should and they make a mistake, like that's okay. <laughs> the real mistake is staying trapped in a situation that you know cannot make you happy for too long because you're scared to break the narrative. So yeah, that's my rant. Hopefully that made sense. I just, I couldn't sleep tonight and I felt the need to come down and talk to you guys because just, I don't want us to be so obsessed with the narrative. I want us to just pay attention to how we're feeling because how you're feeling is everything. You can be single and away from everyone and be like, oh, well, I should be with someone. It's like, oh, well, how are you feeling? Do you have friends? Are you getting up? Are you doing things? That's what matters. You could be in a marriage for years and feel lonely every night and not really want to talk about it because you might feel ashamed. Well, I'm married, so I shouldn't feel lonely. When really you should be trying to get to the root of why you feel lonely because it might be on your partner and something you need to communicate or it might actually be something within you that you haven't fixed from childhood. But either way, like we need to be talking about these things because sometimes you can have the picture perfect wedding and career. And I loved my career for a very long time until I didn't. And when I didn't, I stayed in it for two years, extremely unhappy, very depressed, very stressed out because I just thought, well, no, this is what I'm doing. This is what I love. It didn't really dawn on me like, hey, maybe I should be paying attention to the fact that this is falling apart. And what I loved about being in the classroom was really being able to connect with students. And I can't do that anymore because there's too many of them in here. And I'm surrounded by coworkers that don't have the same passion as me. And I have more and more limitations put on me from the job and I can't just be myself. And I just, I wasn't loving it anymore, but doesn't make sense to quit the high paying job in an economy like this that's secure. But for me, I finally came to that decision. It took me way too long. But, and of course you tell the people you care about and immediately they're like, well, I'm worried about you. You quit your job. And it's like, don't be worried about me. I feel fantastic. I am excited. I am going to succeed at whatever I do. And if it takes a few things, a few different jobs for me to try to figure out what I'm meant to do, that's okay. Like, saying these things to people we care about, like, oh, I'm worried about you. You're really just kind of telling them that you don't believe in what they think they can do. <laughs> and even though we're trying to be supportive, it doesn't always come across that way. So just my thoughts of the night. I'm at nine minutes. Wow. I don't even know what I said because sometimes my brain just spins when I can't sleep. But uh, I hope that you go to bed tonight realizing that you're exactly where you need to be and any changes that you feel like you need to make are okay. Even if they're scary, we adapt and people around you will understand. And if you need to go solo travel to get away from people around you to figure out what you want because you just don't know, that's okay too. We live in a very confusing world where we have a lot of people telling us how to live that might not make any sense to us. <laughs> so 
that's okay. Honor yourself and you might need to take a leap and get away from everything to take some time to figure out who you are. And this is just me pushing you. That was me pushing you to do it because it is so worth it. I'm 36 years old with no job and no idea where I'm going to be in a week, but I live in a van and I'm super excited because I'm healthy and I have my ideas and I'm just going to apply them and I'm not living on anyone else's timeline or by anyone else's narrative. So I hope that you find that too.